Good morning. Today is a, a beautiful spring day here in Tallinn. And so rather than uh, do as I usually do on a Saturday morning and go to the office and work, I've decided to have an adventure, um, an away day by train to uh, a lighthouse and fly the drone. And uh, we're just about to walk and go to the station. And there, Beru Gate, very much the postcard view of the entry to the old town of Tallinn. And now walking through uh, Town Hall Square, very much set up for summer with all the pavement cafes out. As Tallinn wakes up this morning, everything uh, laid out and ready for what they hope will be a busy day. Uh, Saturday, so hopefully some tourists and locals out enjoying the fine weather here in what is a bit of a tourist trap and certainly more expensive than other parts of town. I've now arrived at the station, uh, not, many, not many trains there, although looking at the board they are, they are running and also to our destination of uh, Paldiski. Uh, there's a train at uh, 8.17. Well, I've, I've bought a travel card, but I haven't yet bought my ticket. I had a very entertaining exchange with a, uh, a lady who sold me my travel card. Um, I think there's either a machine on the train or I can at least buy the ticket on the train. Well, I'm on the train and uh, great success. Um, as I sort of understood from the, uh, the lady I bought the travel card from, um, there are machines on the train and you just present the card and press the button, say you want to go, and the money is taken off the uh, the card. And the card itself was two and a half euros, but the minimum amount you uh, you pay is 17 and a half, and they preload the card with um, 15 euros. So um, I've, got, uh, I've got the card charged there. Um, the train journey will be 50 minutes, and the, uh, the fare is an almighty uh, three euros and 33 cents each way. So uh, three euros for um, uh, nearly an hour's uh, journey and compare that to the UK. Well, I'm here in Paliski and it was uh, remarkably painless the uh, the journey um, it's a lovely day it's warming up nicely and uh, I'm now going to head uh, head north towards the uh, the lighthouse which is the uh, the destination for today and see what we can find on the way Well, I'm walking randomly um, around uh, Paldiski, heading uh, roughly north where the lighthouse is. Uh, the highlight has been uh, the coffee and the cake, without question. Um, so I'm just really sort of walking around now, seeing where I'm uh, roughly, roughly going. I found myself in some sort of old quarry, I think, which has um, here a disc golf um, course, which looks very interesting. Um, but it's, uh, say it's a lovely, beautiful um, spring day. Uh, the leaves have just come out, so everything is lovely, fresh, 
and green and uh, from the road where I was walking before I'm now going to try and head up um, in the sort of that sort of direction towards the towards the sea and there might be a path that heads north on the coast uh, heading up to the lighthouse I know if I keep following the following the coast eventually then uh, chances are I will find this lighthouse but certainly this quarry is uh, is quite interesting and makes for a uh, a challenging disc golf course. Well, apparently, what I thought was a quarry is actually Peter the Great's uh, naval fortress. Although, uh, to be honest with you, there's a pretty uh, major stretch of the imagination needed to uh, try to identify quite how uh, that um, which does really look like a quarry um, is an old naval fortress but uh, I, will, uh, I will take their word for it and uh, and now there's a path that uh, follows the uh, the path of the, uh, um, the coastline up to the lighthouse so we'll walk up there and uh, I think we're about uh, about a third of the way there now Okay, the lighthouse is uh, over there in the distance, but as I'm walking along, I come across these, which look quite uh, interesting. Um, passageways sort of leading into the uh, into the ground um, with some fairly steady walls or um, fairly uh, secure walls either side, and uh, what looks like reinforced concrete up above. So uh, let's uh, walk inside and uh, see what uh, see what we can discover. Well, from inside, there's uh, there's nothing massively uh, interesting. Certainly, a reinforced concrete roof. But what there is around here to the right is a uh, is a room, or what, what used to be a room. Uh, so presumably, this was some sort of store or a bunker of some description. There's one the other side. So let's have a look at that one as well. This one's a little bit more interesting. Uh, again a uh, passageway leading underground and there is another open open room which uh, presumably was, was covered and the reason why I think it was covered was because moving around you can see another one here where the uh, reinforced concrete is actually filled in so they would have been covered um, with something with that concrete and uh, and that's fallen in and just moving over what I presume is the entrance to the other one is actually covered with, uh, with trees so we'll go in and see what it looks like from the inside so yes from the inside the other entrance is uh, very overgrown and there is a rather uh, nice piece of uh, urban exploration of a uh, collapsed collapsed roof with the the other one being uh, fully fully open with no sign of the of the concrete which would have been there before so uh, i can only assume that they would have been some sort of um bunkers i suppose as we have seen a uh, um a, a pillbox little gun emplacement i think this whole place was uh, um, off limit limits to the locals to the estonians during the soviet period and this is uh, evidence of the uh, the military activity which took place before and so we'll now continue on my uh, path to the uh, lighthouse which I can uh, still see in the distance. Well, we're very nearly there now, and there's a, uh, a yacht enjoying the weather. Uh, moving around, there we have the uh, the lighthouse and uh, associated buildings, 
and also the main road leading back into town and I think I'll, uh, I'll take the road and walk back might be a little bit uh, quicker it's been lovely walking along the cliff path but uh, if I get back a little bit quicker then I think there's more to explore in the town itself well I'm here and uh, there is the original old lighthouse which according to the uh, note here was originally 15 meters tall when established in 1760 in 1808 it was built six meters taller and then partially partially demolished again in 1889 up to six meters and it is right on the edge of the cliff and no doubt will fall into the sea at some point in the near future from the old lighthouse moving round there's actually a, uh, a campsite here um, where you can uh, stay uh, it does look as though there's uh, what advertises restaurant stuff there but uh, I can't actually see anything there before the, uh, the grand show itself the new lighthouse which actually could do with a, uh, with a coat of paint but uh, but there it is there, so I shall change the battery on the drone and fly the drone away around it, trying to make sure that I miss the other tower, which is a, uh, another maritime um, surveillance radar and some microwave dishes. So I've got to be a little bit careful how I, uh, how I fly around, but I'll change the batteries and off we go.
Okay, and here I am at the uh, top of the lighthouse. There's the uh, there's the bulb, and uh, some interesting views here. But I think if I go down a level, then there may well be some better unrestricted views walking out onto the balcony. So we'll uh, go down one floor, have a look. But that is what a lighthouse light bulb looks like. So I've moved down a floor, and yes, we can stand outside. Um, I'm lift the camera up above the above the fencing. Then we can uh, see the view around of what is uh, the mining is again a very very flat country, with very few very few hills, and uh, clearly at times quite windy from the windmill farm that is there, and in the distance. And there are the, uh, the oil tanks, which is by the railway station. So it doesn't look as though I've come that, that far, but it felt like it at times. And I'll walk back along the, along the path, getting there a little bit quicker. And there are lots of, lots of countryside and lots of wood. Again, Estonia being a country that is over 50% forest and bog. There the, on the other side, is the uh, maritime radar uh, a little bit windy but uh, there and out to out to sea the gulf of finland i suppose and the the, Bal the baltic sea i'm continuing my uh, walk back via the road this time with the lighthouse in the distance it might be slightly shorter, it might be slightly quicker, but it certainly is not as interesting. Well, I've made it back to uh, Podolsky and uh, following uh, the signs, um, I have found a, um, an old church um, with an interesting uh, history, which um, I've taken some, uh, some pictures of. And just moving around here, there's a sign that says um, tavern. Well, what a coincidence. I am quite thirsty, so I shall walk into the tavern. Um, there's a little bit more than just um, the option of a drink. It does say tavern 1734 but I understand that um, it's not just the building that's quite old, there are some artifacts inside that are quite interesting as well. So I shall investigate. So I've had my liquid refreshment. I've now found myself upstairs in the tavern, which has an interesting collection of swords and daggers from various, uh, various eras and all over the world. And here you have Bulgarian, Chinese, Swedish, British hunting knife, Italian, British drummer sword, short sword. So a complete mixture of interesting uh, um, knives, daggers, swords. So I shall have a wander around here. Well, that's one I thought I'd recognised. A British Royal Navy officer's sword, 1827 to 1846. Uh, it's curved, whereas the uh, ceremonial ones of today are not curved. So uh, that's interesting. But I recognise the uh, uh, the end and the uh, um, whichever, whatever you call the bit that you hold. yet more swords from all over the world. They 
certainly weren't uh, joking when they said they had a huge collection. Uh, certainly it's very uh, eclectic um, with all sorts of patterns and ages although most seem to be from uh, before the 19th century and also some rather interesting uh, pictures as well so somebody thinks of themselves as a bit, bit of an artist although I have to say that I'm really not quite sure what that is supposed to mean as I continue my walk slowly back to the railway station here's another church um, I shall uh, investigate a bit closer but you tend to feel as though with the port building next door I somehow think that the uh, the port infrastructure took uh, priority over perhaps the aesthetics of the church uh, location. I just wonder whether, it, whether it's still in use or not. Well, I've looked at the door and yes, the church is in use with services once a month. However, the, uh, the church's smallest room is locked. So perhaps they only open it when there are services. So no facilities in the church. Okay, well I've had a look around the, uh, the museum, which is actually a very pretty summer house. And I'm now, uh, now in the garden, which is equally as, as nice. Um, yes, it was a rather interesting experience, as uh, clearly I didn't really know much uh, what was uh, going on, or didn't know who the artist was. Um, but the uh, very helpful lady insisted on giving me a, um, a very detailed tour in, uh, in Estonian. And uh, that really tested my, uh, my knowledge and my understanding. Um, however, she's very kindly um, given me some, uh, some books in English. So I can now uh, um, have a read on the train going back as to uh, um, exactly what this artist was, uh, was up to. He seemed uh, um, very talented. So looking at some of his, uh, his works as a sculpture, it was um, um, amazing some of the uh, carvings that he did in pear wood so now i think it's uh, time quarter past four time to start to head back to uh, the station and hopefully the uh, the trains will still be running and i won't be uh, sleeping in this garden um, tonight okay i'm on the train About 20 minutes to go before it uh, before it leaves i've got a snack got my drink already because it's now quite warm and uh, i have some reading material for the journey back. And as I walk back to the apartment through uh, Town Hall Square, Rekoya Platz, as expected on a Saturday evening at half past six, it's slightly different from how it was when I walked up here uh, this morning at around about eight o'clock. Lots of people here starting their Saturday night as I'm walking back to the apartment to finish mine. 